Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's opening call. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you're going to see the opening call right on the left-hand side. You just hit that subscribe button, and you can get the opening call for one month for $149. Six months for $6.95, which is the savings of $199, and a year for $11.95, which is the savings of $593. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, so you can check it out. You can get his newsletter. If you, but it doesn't work for you, 28 days, just cancel it. You get your money back, no big deal. But what you go, are going to get is this, and this is a guarantee. You're going to get a great newsletter. Basil has 10 to 12 archives out there. You really want to understand that wave and ride that wave. Great education out there. Very inexpensive. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. So, what a market, huh? Well, this is very interesting because uh, it must have been some bad news. I wasn't listening to anything. I was just looking at the charts and the market suddenly was doing very well and then whoosh, came down. Now it's trying to regain some of that strength. So. I think what we're looking at here, if you look at the technicals on my part of it, I've got on the left chart here is the daily chart of the Dow. On the right, in the middle is the weekly, and on the right is the monthly chart. And you can see that all the technicals here are very strong. Do you have those charts, so, Al? Oh, did I not? Actually no, no, I think that? we got them. He's getting them up for me. Okay. There I, we go. Thank you. Okay, yeah, cool. Okay, good. Yep. <laughs> so it's a little difficult to talk about if you haven't got the chart. So yeah. what we're looking at here is I, I go through these different indicators. I just put them on there. I don't have to plan them or anything. I just watch them and I use them when, when needed. And I do that whether I'm watching a one-minute chart or whether I'm watching this monthly long-term chart. It doesn't matter because the market is made up of straight lines, arches, and, and cups. And it's really a fractal of human nature. So every single time frame repeats the same kind of pattern, either in a larger form or a smaller form. So what I like to look at is I like to try to identify a low bar and see if that low bar gets upgraded to from a buy signal to a buy mode. The implication there is in the Chapman wave, we should go at least to four higher peaks. That's peak A is the first, peak B is the second, then C is the third, D is the objective. Once it gets to D, other things can happen, but the objective initial one is to get you to D. So we've got that. We went along the Dow uh, the day after the low of 28,660. Uh, we belong. We added to that um, with the three times long the S, the U D O W, and we've taken a little bit off just to, in terms of we had a 39% profit in one of the positions. You know, you got you can't just dismiss that. So we took that off. I intend to try to put that back very soon. But the objective here is to follow the pattern, and if it makes a cup formation, and you can go from the left side, number of bars, that's at 34,281, on the 16th of August, where we came tumbling down. That was a peak F, and we came tumbling down to a trough F at 28,715. Had a bit of a rally to 30,454. Made Remember, I talk about arches and cups. Made an arch formation. Broke just barely underneath that left side low, and on the 13th of October went to 28,660. So, uh, the very next day, the nine period moving average crossed over to um, that's the on the 15th, I believe it was. The nine period move, moving average crossed over the 14th, and that's a really good sign. The MACD was rising, it actually had a, a positive divergence from the low in uh, late September to the low in mid uh, October. The stochastic was also making high. The on-balance volume is the one thing that has been lagging all the time, and it's still lagging. But the price is the price, and here it is. It's gone to the peak D. It made a cup formation, and now I've got it as a leg F. And look at the symmetry on the left side. So we're, we're anticipating in the next few days the 34,281 level might be hit, but we are really close. Today's highs, I said to subscribers, I think the 33,900 is going to be some kind of a, a resistance area. Well, we hit 33,987 today and we pulled back. So I, I've considered the Dow has just the perfect mix at this particular point, meaning in the last couple uh, month or so, where it's got the right ingredients for the move, and it's going to lead, and so far it's been leading the other indices. If you look at the weekly chart, you'll see I've got a technique that I call the Chapman Wave Inside Track. 
repellent zone. This is the first time we've gone above it last week. We've got a little doji candle. The week is uh, just barely begun, so this candle just uh, started the new week, and it's in leg A. The MACD is good. Stochastic still under 80% is 73%. The nine-period moving average has gone above the 14. So I like what I see, and what I want to I want to point out here is that if you, there can be a close, a nice close above 34,281, the high of the 19th of August, that makes this arch formation. In this particular pattern, if there can be a close above that, and I would actually like to see it for two weeks out of three, above that level, that says, at least in the intermediate term, you've turned the corner, and that's in the weekly chart for the first time, you're getting a confirmation that you've got a buy signal, maybe even almost upgraded to a buy mode. But I don't, I don't want to go there yet. And you can see the monthly chart has broken out from the trend line resistance. That's the first time it's done that. That's a good sign. So I like everything that I see, but you needed everything else to, to confirm. You finally got the QQQ running very strongly, the IWM, the Russell 2000, the S&P running. I like that. I like the fact that the SMHs uh, are doing very well right here. There's a left side, right side prime, uh, price time match there that goes to the next few days to say it should try to get to the high that was made at about 2.30, I think it was 2.39, uh, 2, 2.35. So we 2.29 is the high so far. And you really need the semiconductors. And I had mentioned to you, the, um, I think it was last week, that we are long Bank of America. We Every year for the last about seven years, we've had it for a long time. We get out of it, then we go back in. And that's the same thing here. We're in the 31 area. And it's at 37. It's gone above the 200 period moving average. It's at a peak E. It looks like it might rest. But remember, I was talking about that arch formation in the weekly chart with the Dow. Well, 36.94 was Bank of America's high back in. Uh, that was in early October, I think it was. Uh, sorry, August. And then it pulled back sharply. So last week it closed nicely above that. And this is the second week. I would like to see it close above. And, that, and I need to see the XLF, the financials, moving very well with the general market right now. And funnily enough, we had a stock the other day that I chose. I've, I also try to find some subscribers, stocks that are in the single digits. Uh, this one was $7.70. Uh, this is 1-800-Flowers.com. I mean, Thanksgiving's coming up. Uh, the uh, holiday season's coming up. So we got in and had a big spike up into the 917 area, pull back. And today it's at 9.14. It's done the same left side, right side, cup formation. I'll be doing this in my show to, uh, for the rest of the week. I'll take some time during my show to do a lot of these charts um, in a smaller time frame just to demonstrate live exactly, exactly how it works. You can see this is the cup that I drew. This is where I showed subscribers. That's the inside wedge target line that we wanted to see, and it hit it exactly in that's the right a, that's number a big of cup, bars. Man. That's a big cup. That, that's yeah. a big cup. That's yeah. a big cup. Yeah, it's Listen, like folks, bowl. really easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to hit the newsletter on the left hand side. You're going to see the opening call. Hit that, and you are off to your races. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look for a show tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you.